greetings everyone, welcome to another Nerd Out video. So, for all you spidey fans out there, are you getting another villain? Um, and it is Craven. Now, it's been rumoured for a while that Craven was going to make an appearance in some way. People thought he was going to be like a villain for Spider Man 3. This was way before all well, the multiverse stuff was confirmed. People were speculating. And people have been bringing it up as well, for a while. But the actor you're getting is Aaron Taylor. Johnson playing Craven on his latest Marvel Sony latest Marvel film to do so guys I'm gonna read the article to you. It's a nice short sweet one So he's already been kick-ass and the MCU's Quicksilver and now Aaron Taylor Johnson is adding to his comic book catalogue He'll be playing Craven the Hunter in Sony's first feature film of the character uh, JC Chanda Landed a directing job back in August last year, and Richard Wenk script has undergone polish by Art Macum and Matt Holloway. Um, Sergei Krenov, aka Craven the Hunter, who is one of Spider Man's best known and most formidable enemies, as well as the half brother of the Chamberlain. Uh, sorry guys, butchered that. A big game hunter who likes to take down his prey with his bare hands, Craven meets a witch doctor who gives him a potion that enhances his senses and powers and slows down the uh, aging process. To prove himself as the world's greatest hunter, Craven wants to take down Spider-Man. He's a character that Sony's been trying to bring to the screen for a while. He's been rumoured for the Amazing Spider-Man movies and a film about him in development for years. Uh, could Sony sneak him in to Spider-Man No Way Home before release? We see. But for now, the marks the expansion of Sony's Spider-Verse. So that's what they got, guys. So um, we obviously got we're getting two Venom films. So we had Venom 1, we got Venom 2, uh, we got Morbius, which should be coming out this year. Or next, is it this year or next year? No, I think it's 2022, I believe. Um, and obviously Craven, which probably 2023, I reckon. Well, they could do end of 2022, but then that'd be three big Sony sp villains. But no, this is exciting. They're really trying to go with this uh, Spider-Verse. They're really going it with the villains, and to be honest, they own the characters. Uh, Marvel won't themselves do them. I mean, they always done like a lot of hero bait. This obviously just from the hero's perspective. Uh, well, I like DC. Obviously, they not them, but Todd Phillips really pushed with Joker. We could get a Deathstroke film if the idiots get the thumbs out their asses. Um, so it's nice to actually. Get some of the perspective from both sides, and obviously seeing Craven, it's going to be quite, it's going to be quite good. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this news feed. Stay safe. Take care.